I think I know who I'm going to call. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new to the channel, check out the subscribe button. And if you like this video, feel free to cross the streams on the like button. Let's get right into it with an interview with OK Magazine, Ghostbuster 4, aka Ghostbuster Firehouse. Camille Nanjiani had the following to say, I just love Ghostbusters and this is my favorite movie. It's one of my favorite things that's not a person or an animal. I really couldn't believe my luck that I get to be part of that. And the script is really good. I think it explores, it makes the world a lot bigger. People are going to love it because it's just this great thing where it feels new and it's going in this new direction. Of course, he joins Patton Oswalt as two newbies to uh, the series that has the cast of Ghostbusters Afterlife. And from set photos we've seen, behind the scenes photos we've seen of Walter Peck and Ernie Hudson's Winston appearing as well. Looks very exciting. I'm curious what direction they're going with and if they're gonna use any of the former Dan Aykroyd uh, scripts. And also we have, the, I think, some uh, writers from The Office were doing a version of Ghostbusters for Hale Ramis years and years and years ago. There's been a lot of talk. Ghostbusters 3 was always kind of mentioned throughout the 90s, but never came to fruition, mainly because of Bill Murray. And I think there was one version of the screenplay that was going around, or rumored anyway, where Bill Murray was actually killed at the beginning and came back as a ghost. The whole movie took place. This could be the direction they're going with it, where the whole movie took place kind of in like hell, like under New York City. And it was basically Manhattan and hell were like mirrors of each other. And the devil was this Donald Trump type character and the Ghostbusters had to deal with that. I always thought that was a fun idea. I don't know where they're going with this. This is the thing. Like, I love Ghostbusters Afterlife and I love the idea that they could bring Ghostbusters back to the mainstream in the movie universe. And I'm just curious how they're going to play it out, if it will feel more like a Ghostbusters 3, whereas Afterlife felt like a bridge movie. And that's no disrespect. I love Afterlife, like I said, but you know, 1 and 2 are very specific to what they are. And then Afterlife didn't make, it shouldn't be called 3. It is a bridge. And will this be more like a 3 or will it be more of a continuation of Afterlife? I'm, I'm really looking forward to this movie. Afterlife is so much fun. I'll probably watch it right now. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, may be the master of your own universe.